Hey, how'd you get out of this alley? We're trapped in here, son. Art is our only escape. Is that like a metaphor, or do you mean that if I take one of these paintings, I can use it to get out of here? If you take one of these paintings, I'll bite you on the leg. If you buy one, it could help you get out of here. They're magic. Okay, I'm off. Well, see ya. Keep off the street now. get Edgar's cards. <laughs> Introducing, fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa, Tiger! Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snake size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the same man is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then, Alright, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. <laughs> ah, sleep tight, kitty. Here you go, Edgar. Perfect. One step closer to her. <laughs> Introducing! Fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings, Dragon! Yow! What's that smell? That smells like fear, boy! Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! <laughs> No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur! <laughs> it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. <laughs> hey, are you awake? Did you hear that? This one was a real pain in the butt to get. Perfect. One step closer to her. Yeah, I 
saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys the chain? Ah, I have met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Hey, can you fight bulls? I have a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about El Odio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. Who can do it? Who can fight El Odio? I speak of no other than Dingo Inflagrante, the infamous matador playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. What? What happened between Dingo and Edgar? Tragedy, betrayal, art, love, pain. Nothing you want to know about. Come on, tell me. What's the big scandal? Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But maybe if you had bought some art, then I'd have to come up with some small talk while we're making change and, you know. Okay, I bought some art. Now give me the dirt on Dingo. <laughs> okay, here's how I heard it. Years ago, when Edgar was a world-renowned painter, he was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. But while he was sitting for the portrait, Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife, who was none other than the top flamenco dancer, Dan Peter Passionado. He seduced the dancer, and the two ran off together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, Edgar thinks of nothing but the treacherous pair, and since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Wow, that's a great story. You should do a painting. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah, good idea. I think that dingo sounds like a jerk. Ah, uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. As a collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's like being forced to wear a golden robe with a diamond kick me sign on the back. Must be tough. Yeah, I work it out through my painting. sent me. You know, the famous painter. How about a discount? Famous painter? Edgar? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you don't give discounts or <laughs> you don't think he's famous? Look, I'm sorry, but eating lunch every day in the art teacher's room does not make you a famous painter. Anyway, you only did that to hide out from the school wrestling team. Hey, there's no shame in hiding from wrestlers. They're trouble, especially the wild animal type. Oh, what do you mean, wild animals? Like dogs, eh? Oh, you got a problem with me now? No. I just meant wrestlers can be tough. I didn't mean you. Oh, you don't think I'm tough now? Why? Because I'm a Dalmatian? Hey, we can't all be St. Bernards and Bulldogs, you know. Has Edgar always had a problem with wrestlers? No way. In fact, he used to be the captain of his high school wrestling team. He took them all the way to the state semifinals one year, and then he... he choked. Cost the team the entire match. Why did he choke? Did they get him in one of those pile driver things? No. Edgar's girlfriend Lana Panzoni dumped him after the first period for Dean LeGrant, the head of her cheerleading squad. Tegley was worthless after that. The other team just tossed him around the rest of the day like a half sack of pork rinds. Oh, man. His squad hated him after that. The whole school did. How sad. Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. Oh, right. Yeah, they exist. Not made up at all, those two. Sheesh. Hey, I got some original Picassos over here if you're interested, by the way. See ya. Yes, run. Run from the horror. Introducing, back from a crushing victory at someone might lose a tooth in Duluth, Eagle!
Here you go, Edgar. Perfect. One step closer to her. You look pretty jumpy. What's the problem? I'm supposed to paint an ad for the big fight between Dingo the Matador and the town bull. Only the bull's on a rampage right through where the painting needs to oh, go. Oh, Dingo the Matador! I need to talk to him! Uh, his apartment's right upstairs. While you're there, maybe you can convince him to take care of the bull. Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! Hey, Edgar. Nice headgear, freak. What? What? You suck, Tedlin. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, whip. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look! I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smegley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you stakes. Seriously, I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. 